So here we go in the Kia e Soul for today. You can take a look over my shoulder. Hope you're seeing enough. Get backwards. Rear view camera is quite good, making a lot of noise. Just for safety. Steering wheel feels a bit stiff when you're driving slow. When you're going quicker. It feels more like you're driving a PlayStation car. And that's not my favorite. Brakes. Yeah, are really good. Keep my jacket back. Acceleration from 0 to 100 in 7.9 seconds with the 64 kilowatt hour battery pack and 204 HP and 395 newton meters of torque. Just for example a 2016 Kia Seat GT with 204 HP and a manual gear shift and 265 newton meters of torque. Does it in seven point, yeah, officially measured in 7.8, measured by Sports Car Magazine in 7.2 seconds. That's because of weight and traction. Because what they still don't do with EVs is install a proper front differential. On a bumpy road, it's still feeling comfortable. Of course you feel the bumps, but the seats are very good. The seats also have an adjustable lumbar support. This is the Spirit Edition, so the top edition. They're at the moment selling this car for a price of around about 44 grand, including 19% tax, not including tax credit. But the suspension still feels a bit stiff, but the the seats will filter all the bumps, so the car won't knock your teeth out. At last they gave it a traction control. You can also order this car with a smaller battery and of course less power, power of the engine of course. The point is you always have to expect after a couple of years that you will lose some battery capacity so better take the big one and still have some power spare. Feel of the steering wheel, you don't get much of a feedback from the wheels, but the steering is very good, very precise at last. Reach and braking. Almost stopping, don't want to stop here. It's working quite good, you can adjust the level of the reach and braking. But anyway, rolling the last meters and when you take the foot off the pedal it starts to roll forwards directly so it won't stop and stay maybe I have to adjust something don't know
when I got the car it had a average energy consumption about uh, 20 kilowatts per hour so somebody drove it quite hard Kia gay uh, Kia said or wrote that the average energy consumption is about 15.7 kilowatts per hour at the moment it's 17.3 and getting lower because of city travel. By WLTP it has a range of 450 kilometers with the 64 kilowatt hour batteries also has been tested with a bit more than 400 kilo, uh, kilometers. So the range is quite good. One thing I really love about this car is you can see the traffic lights. There's not such a big cover here in front. The A pillars are not too big or the cover of the A pillars. The rear view, yeah, just because of the big C pillars, it's not that good. You can see at last enough in the rear window. We go. The steering wheel is adjustable in height and length, not like the Nissan Leaf. In the Nissan Leaf you can only adjust it in the height, but not in the length. Fuel is expensive. One euro fifty-three. Petrol. Never mind, I don't care. And the best thing about EVs, at the moment there are still a couple of charging stations where you can charge your car for free. Doesn't excuse the high price of the cars, for sure. But at last you got a little benefit. Suspension works also quite well in curves. Top speed of the car is 167 kilometers per hour. Now it's limiting itself. 110 because the battery power is too low and I put it in normal mode no still showing a speed limit It is quite comfy. The e sole doesn't have that much sport attitude. But at last it's quick enough to have some fun. don't need a big boot or much of space in your boot then this 
Kia Soul is quite an alternative to the E Nero, which has some more space in the boot. But this will save you a bit of money. And the good thing about Kia is you have a warranty of seven years on the car and of course a warranty of five, uh, eight years on the battery warranty of the car is seven years or 150,000 kilometers warranty of the battery is the usual eight years and 160,000 kilometers Some facts by side, the, Re uh, the Renault Zoe has a warranty of the battery about five years only. So the eight years of warranty is not standard for every battery EV. I expected more understeer, but traction control is working quite well.